Stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is space. There's space all over the place. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Did you feel weird yesterday or today? I did. I spent the majority of the day irritated and wanted to punch people. And I didn't even know why. It was like I was a little mini Hulk. But I has the self-control. I'm not going to punch anybody. Though when you tell people, yeah... I wouldn't mind punching you right now if, you know, it wouldn't hurt you and you didn't mind. That might be like the thing that would hit the spot. It's one of those days. And I guess that is partially due to the fact that we are having us a giant coronal mass ejection that is definitely Earth-facing. I think, asterisk, you, I don't know. These cameras are weird. Over here, around the time I was wanting to punch everybody, we had a level 7 geomagnetic storm hitting the Earth from that giant coronal mass ejection I covered the other day. So the sun's acting weird and edgy, which makes people act weird and feel edgy. There are literally dragons growing upon the sun. Now this is super interesting information. Where was the big explosion on that camera? Now this is incredible. I have been commenting how the filament situation has been growing more and more extreme every week, every month. And now it's gotten to crazy super cake levels. Like look over here. It almost looks like a giant dragon that breaks into a tree, becomes a forest. And this one over here is like a giant gremlin spider thingy. They get eaten by the sun and then boom, it was like a giant frog, a filament frog. It's the first time we've ever had a giant solar filament frog before. Over here for nostalgia, we have our old school filament gremlins doing the dance. They love to dance. Who doesn't? So this is a lot of crazy stuff going on in the sun. Like filaments don't usually get this big and up and down all around the sun and stick their tongue out and have the width and the size and the height of a giant solar frog. It's new to me, I would guess you. And the loops are all jangled and tangled. Look at this action, some wild action. Some people are breaking up. What's even going on there? I can't make heads or tails of that solar activity. It was wild, it looks like it heads straight out and part of it just shoots down. That is very weird. Look at this murderer's row of sunspots. Solar activity sure is crazy. And that's why we're crazy. That's why you may have been feeling a little edgy. Possibly a bit irritated. Because the sun. Or that thing, man. Wait, don't. It's creepy. Don't look straight at it. So we have the CME from around the 3rd, 4th, or 5th hitting us now. Once again, shaped like our standard V. Sideways, though. Blew out a big old chunk. The sun's limbs seem to be growing larger. We have a giant twisty CME from the 1st. And watch as the phoenix wings of the sun grow larger in size. So we have that giant circular coronal mass ejection that took off in the 4th, and apparently it's headed semi-towards Earth. Looks a bit up and away to me, though. So there you go. Now you know why you were a bit crabby today. Or yesterday. Yeah, it looks like they cut out about 7 hours of the data that they didn't think our little public sector mind brains could handle. That's sad. So we got blasted by the CME in the 1st, and then now we're getting blasted by the CME in the 4th. They threw the ring right around us. That almost looked like a seahorse. And then on the 4th, this one's Earth. This one's Jupiter. On the 4th, Earth gets a glancing blow. And then now, the Earth gets a glancing blow again. That's okay. I imagine some celestial bodies take any kind of blow they can get. Because that type of plasma and energy is good for them? I don't know. Does anybody know what planet this planet is? Maybe it's a star. Either way, I have no idea. And I'd like to find out. Watch this little planet down here. Creates that star effect. Pretty neato. Geomagnetic storm lights up Europe and the USA. A stream of high-speed solar wind is buffeting Earth's magnetic field. And this is causing geomagnetic storms around the Arctic Circle. Sweet, because solar activity is low. And that geomagnetic thing went, ah, baby, look at that. Come here, you kids. 